Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the Vice Admiral Narayan Prasad, Indian Navy retired chairman and managing director of Machigao Talk Ship Builders Limited, the government need to take some bold steps in submarine manufacturing. The reason is Project 75I program which has almost entered into a deadlock where three of the five contenders or foreign OEMs including France pulled themselves out of the deal. The major issue with this deal is the technical conditions which is around the air independent propulsion. As per the request for proposal or RFP, the OEMs need to have a proven fuel cell based air independent propulsion which Russia, France and Germany do not have as the Navy does not use such propulsion technology. The development of submarines under Project 75I is to be done under strategic partnership route, which means the selected Indian vendors which are MDL and LNT will have to choose among the qualified vendors for the development of submarines. Now, MDL and LNT are left with only two OEMs which are Navencia from Spain and Devu Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering Corporation Limited from South Korea. The submarine building has two components, know-how and know-why. Know-how means that the foreign OEM provides the design and 100% absorption of technology to build a submarine. The 6 Scorpion class submarine which has been built under the know-how scheme where MDL required assistance for building the first submarine from French Naval Group. However, from second submarine onwards, MDL was able to construct by their own. The know why is where the foreign OEM provides a complete transfer of technology for constructing the submarine. The major challenge with such program is the hesitation of the OEMs to share formula and the process of certain components and techniques which has evolved over the years. The Indian Navy should also start working with DRDO on integrating the DRDO's fuel cell based AIP with one of the Navy's Kilo class submarine. There has been news regarding the same but no confirmation. At the same time, it should also work with Japan or South Korea to develop the lithium ion technology for its submarine. The lithium ion enhances the performance of submarines by many fold as compared to the AIP system. While the Indian government and Navy is trying to sort out the challenges with Project 25I, the major concern is the delay. At the same time, Pakistan is moving ahead with diesel attack submarines from China and all 8 submarines is set to be inducted by 2028. Any further delay will only deprive the Navy of new submarines, limiting its operational capabilities. As per MDL, they have capability to construct nearly 11 submarines simultaneously. While the finalization of Project 25I will take a couple of more years, it will be wise to place and follow on for three Project 75 class or Calvary class submarines in interim or maybe more because we are going to miss a big opportunity here by keeping the MDL's pipeline of 11 submarines idle. This was even proposed by MDL and French Naval Group with upgraded sensors and weapons. Or at least they should start retrofitting the existing Calvary class submarines with AIP system developed by DIDO. The infrastructure created including a new weight basin by Mazgao Dock has costed rupees 1000 crores to government and keeping them idle is a huge loss. But this is not the only problem. MDL is also concerned with the loss of a skill set due to lack of order visibility in the future and it may face exodus of executives as it has already completed all the orders for Scorpion class submarine. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.